Hello and welcome to this little tutorial where we will learn how to do a pickup. Hopefully right now I'm showing the finished product. So that is exactly what we will do. And it is true that we already have a marketplace asset for pickups and I am going to be using some assets, uh, but take in mind Please take in consideration that this, specifically this package, was created. Let me check the year. It was just after the the Unreal Marketplace had uh, opened, so it has a long, a, a lot of time. Yeah, 2015, and we have learned a lot of a lot a lot of things. So the blueprints may be a little basic, and also the, me the meshes that I can't see for some reason. Ah, here it is, static meshes are also like a little basic. But we're planning to do a revamp, maybe not the assets, but at least from my part, the code soon, because we have some exciting news about the marketplace. But I will probably update all the code and add some multiplayer or networking support for these pickups. But more on that, probably on another video. So we want to create a little pickup here, just as we have seen at the start. What we need to do is, well, create a blueprint. And I'm gonna assume you at least know the basics of blueprints. If you do not know, if you want to learn more about blueprints, we can, well, uh, you can enroll on our free course called Blueprints Quick Start. There it is, that's how it's said. So let's first create a folder, new folder. I'm gonna call it Pickup. And inside it, I'm gonna create a blueprint. Right click, Blueprint class. We're gonna select an actor, so we can put it on the world. And I'm, I'm gonna call it Blueprint Pickup. Uh, now that I have remembered, <laughs> We did a pickup on that uh, free course. So if you want to delve deeper on what can we add on this pickup, uh, you can check out the course. But if you just want a quick video, here, here is how it is, how it would be done. So we can create a new actor. We can drag it and drop it on the map. Let's press Control E or right click and edit pickup. We need a way to, to show that this is representing a pickup. So let's create here a component, add a static mesh. Static mesh, here it is. And let's put some mesh here for now. Um, we have some static meshes here. Maybe I want a heart, so I can drag and drop it on the static mesh details panel, great. Now we need some way of picking it up. This mesh has a collision, but I don't want to be too precise with it. So what I'm gonna do is create a sphere collision and it's gonna be like this sphere collision and I'm gonna call it a sphere collision. And this one is a static mesh pickup. And I'm gonna make the sphere collision the parent of all of this because I want it, yeah, in case I move it, to use some of the collisions that the, my sphere collision can provide. So I'm gonna drag and drop it on top and I'm gonna make it new root. So here it is, my sphere collision. I have a radius here and I'm gonna leave the collision as it is, overlap, all dynamic is fine. And here I'm gonna, uh, I could use this component, but what I'm gonna do is use this event actor begin overlap. This begin overlap will trigger for any of the components here. So I do not want to trigger it with my static mesh. So I'm going to go to my collision. And instead of using the preset block all dynamic, I'm going to put no collision. Now in my actor begin overlap, if I want to pick it up, just pick it up or give the feeling that I have picked up something, then I just need to do, um, let's say we can destroy it. We can hide it. Let's just destroy it. Destroy it. Target will be self, so this is fine. So now I'm gonna save, compile, and if I press play, 
and I enter the collision, it disappears, right? We are destroying the, the actor. So my pickup is working. That's how you can create a very simple pickup just for show. We can add some, some sounds. Here I have, I believe, a coin pickup sound. So we can, this will be our base pickup. Let's just right click it, create a child blueprint class. Let's call this coin pickup. Or it, maybe, no, see, coin, we can, we can call it that. Double click it, this one, just a static mesh. Let's replace it with a coin. We should have a coin somewhere, a single coin. Here it is, static mesh coin. And if we wanted to add a sound to this child blueprint, well, we probably would need, oh, let, let me drag and drop it. We probably would need to, to add it on my parent pickup because that way, whenever we need any sound, then we can, we can just change the asset and it will play, right? So the way we are going to do that is, and I can delete my base pickup here, whenever we overlap it, then we can just play sound. At location, we can use some attenu attenuation, but for now, let's use this uh, pickup coin queue that, uh, and let's just check if there is something weird with that pickup coin queue. It's just a wave player. We play it. This output has some attenuation. No, it doesn't have any attenuation. So it's just a sound that you can just right click, use any sound. Right click it and create two and it will give you the same graph here. And now the to play it, oh, we're already playing it. The location we should give this same actor location. Let's get actor location and connect it like this. This would mean that and let me save and compile it. This would mean that any blueprint no this these are not my blueprints. Any blueprint that I'm using that inherits from this class, from the BB pickup class, and we can know uh, which blueprint we're inheriting because we can see here the parent class is BP pickup in my BP coin. Then it will play the coin sound. But maybe we, we don't want to do that. We don't want to play it for this heart, right? So in that case, we can just make this a variable, mode variable, and call it sound to play when picked up. It seems like a long name, but it's really useful to have long names instead of just calling it, I don't know, maybe sound. And then we have sound one, sound two, sound three. I mean, it doesn't give me any information and I would need to have to look it up, like find references and see, oh, here it is, my sound. It's on the actor begin overlap. So it's probably when I picked up the pickup. So it's better to have a long name that it's more descriptive. This sound, I'm going to make it instance edit editable so any, anyone can modify it. And before playing any sound, and I'm going to put this something like this. I'm going to check if that sound has been set up. Otherwise, I do not want to play any sound. So here I'm going to use my note called is valid. And if this is valid, then we can play the sound. And if it isn't, then we just don't bother with it. And we always want to destroy the actor. So let's just call it like this sequence. When whatever is on top finishes, then we can destroy the actor. So that's going to be great. This sound, I'm going to search it because I will need it later, but I'm going to press clear here. Save, compile my coin will have that sound. So I can go to my class defaults sound to play when picked up. Can, I can select the pickup coin queue. I could also select a sound wave, press save, compile, and then play. This won't give me a sound, but this coin would will. So that's great. That's, that's great. In the next series of videos, we can explore more about pickups and how to connect them to actions. So 
this coin can give me money and maybe I can create a subclass here, child blueprint, this one blueprint uh, health that is it, it's already a, a heart can give me some help. Hopefully you find this useful and be sure to give us a like. If you find it useful, you can leave questions or more recommendations about tutorials you would like to see.